So good day all, my name is Coach Salisu. This session is just to revive our memory. Most of us don't really understand how RQGMI pick their coins. Because there are several, there are two, three, four, five, or even several ways of picking coins. But we have our own specific style that we pick coins that suit our settings. Please, if you're just coming on coming to this meeting, try as much as possible to mute your mic so that the mic will not disturb us, please. I beg you. Thank you. So some of us, or maybe newbie, they don't understand how we pick coin, or more importantly, how we use our Excel sheet. If you don't, if you don't understand that, or you don't understand how we use our signals, I think we dropped a video about RQ onboarding and how to use RQTMI signals. Maybe I will share it at the end of this session on all our groups so that you would go watch it and check it out and see how you could benefit from it. So, so I will just run you guys through something that you know. However, I think tomorrow I will want to delve into how to trade without analysis episode two. Episode one, you get it. You go watch it out and see how you can be enjoying three percent without reading the signals. So thank you. I'll share my screen now. Please, if you're just coming to the meeting, try to mute yourself. Debrief, can debrief? Yes. Can you help to mute anybody that unmute his mic and the uh, the, the background is noisy? Please just mute the person. Okay, okay, okay. So thank you. I will share my screen and explain to you, just use one example. I dropped a signal a few minutes ago before this meeting, a signal on WRX. As you know, our style of trading makes you to make money uptrend and downtrend. Since the market goes up and down, we try as much as possible to see that we pick coin that suit our setting that so that you'll be making money uptrend and downtrend. As you know, magic three, magic five is the best magic you can use for one shot in the bull season. And why? Because of the fact that once the robot drops by, once there is a call drop of 1.4%, if you're a newbie, don't mind my terminologies. As you consistently, persistently attend our Zoom, you will get to understand what we're saying. And also if you watch our videos. So like I was saying, Magic 5 covers for what? 50% deep and it has 24 margin calls. Margin, margin call one to four. Once the robot buys it, it has to drop by 1.4% before it will buy. Once it buys it, 50% of capital is already on the coin. So once it sells, it will give you a profit of that 50% that it has bought. But however, if the market goes deeper, you'll be enjoying soft sales from the fifth call to the 24th call. Now the same thing with Magic 3, once it buys the first call to 25% of your capital is already on the coin. So what are we saying? Sometimes you find that some people will say, ah, RQTMI, the way we are trading around February, March, April, you have changed. No, this is the same thing with Magic 3. The only, in, the only thing difference is that in Magic 3, it's the same thing that you say 25% of your capital is your first buy. But in this case, $15 is the first buy. Once the robot picks the first call, 25% of your capital is already on the coin. So if it goes further to the third margin call, 50% of your capital is already on the coin. But before there is a call, if there is no call drop of 5% on the second margin call, it will not pick the second. If there is no call drop of 1% on the third margin call, that will not be buy. More importantly, the fact that 25% of your capital is already on the coin, which makes it very, very what? interesting and awesome. So I will share my screen. I dropped a video. I dropped a, v a signal, sorry, not a video, a signal on WRX. As you can see, WRX is a coin. We trade on one hour, four hour, or one day. WRX is a coin, as you can see. Let me remove this. Sorry about that. WRX is a coin. On the four hour, you could see what is happening. We have three indicators that we'll make use of. Stochastic RSI, Auto Fibonacci, and Bollinger Band. However, Coach um, Dibili, can you hear me? King Dibili, can you yes, hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so uh, King Aminu, I'm going to also- Yes, I can hear you. 
I'm going to make you a co-host, King Aminu, so that you can also join King Jibril to also admit people to the meeting. Thank you. So as I was right, saying, sir. yeah, there are three indicators that we make use of. As you can see, this signal is already on floating profit. There are three indicators that we make use of. The stochastic RSI, the autofibonacci, and the Bollinger Band. And each of them, the secret behind each of them, had been revealed and the video is on the YouTube channel. Let's go to the YouTube channel, type secret of Fibonacci or secret of Otobolingaban or secret of Stokastic Arista. Watch it out and check it out. So if you watch that, it is what I'm going to apply here. I want to pick a thing. What do we say if it is a, if you see zero at the bottom, 100 at the top, Zero at the bottom, 100 at the top, it is a downtrend. Downtrend, as you can see, it's coming down. When you see something is coming down, the price of the coin is falling, the downtrend. So however, if it's a downtrend and you want to measure your take profit, now the first thing you look at is the stochastic. Where is it? We want the stochastic to touch the green line. As you can see, it has touched. That's one condition of the stochastic. This blue line that moves like a snake, it should touch the blue green line. That's one. Two, we want the stochastic RSI value, which is this 13.25, to be between 0 and 20. As you can see, it has satisfied the second condition. And the third condition is we want the line that moves like this snake. We want it to point up, and it should be between 0 and 50. Sorry, 0 and, 20, uh, and 25. Pointing up, as you can see, all the three conditions had been met for stochastic, which is giving us a go ahead on the stochastic. However, we don't just rely on one indicator, right? We don't just rely on one indicator. So what do we do? We what? Go to the auto Fibonacci. This is a downtrend. If it's a downtrend, where do you measure to? You measure to what? The 38.2% line. That's the downtrend. That's the take profit. Right, that's your take profit. So now you bring in your Bollinger band. I can remove the auto Fibonacci and bring in Bollinger band. As you can see, I have bring in the Bollinger band. I will use my horizontal line to measure. You can see it has three lines. This blue line, this is a blue line. Sorry, I'm referring to this. This is a line. This is a line. This is a line, All right? These are the three lines. So we use this center line to get what the resistance as it's going up. So I'll just pick my horizontal line, touch this, you see it? That's the second one, which is the black line. I want to change the color to black. So which means these are the three key areas the price can go. But I will make you show use of the first one, which is the black line. If I measure from the current price now, I can get 3.8. If I decide to remain patient, I can go and enjoy 6.3. You know, some people they don't like, they can't wait. I'm on a coin that can give me 30% now, and I'm still waiting. Hmm? Because I know that once it sells, it can give me $600. It's always wasting my time to be taking $25, $30, $50, $200. I'll just take it big. But the question is, do you know how to be patient and wait? Some people don't know that. So this is why we call it one shot and sniping. Wait, I enjoy your take profit, you see? But the take profit is even 2.5. You know that the coin can go 3.6. I saw it like this, but I just decided to give people 2.5 because people like coins that <laughs> let it sell quickly, pick an allowance. So that's it. Now, you don't just enter again, you confirm on the one day on one week. If you're trading on four hour, you confirm on one day on one week. If you're trading on one hour, you confirm on four hour or one day. Those two time frame ahead of the time frame you're trading. Now let's go to the one day. What are we looking for in the one day? We are looking for a stochastic. The stochastic line should be what? Between the 50, between 50 and zero. As you can see, it's what one, which is between 50 and zero. And the blue line must have touched this orange line. As you can see, either it has touched or below. We just need it to touch. As you can see, that is what we are looking for. On the one day, if I do not see it on one day, I can confirm on one week. On one week, you can see it's not too good, but on the one day, I am looking in just two time frame ahead. That's what I look for. So since I've seen it on the one day, and my mind is at rest, I'll just go and enter my percentage. This is how we pick our signal. 
you can lie down in your house and meet the salary of even a senator in your country. The question is, do you have the skill and do you have the capital? If you don't have capital, make a lot of noise. Just like Robert Kiyosaki said, if you want to be rich, serve more people. That is what Elon Musk is doing. And he's now having a hotel in mass. He's serving people, selling his electric motor. As they are buying, he's making money. He has Twitter. As they are using Twitter, he's making money. He's serving people to make that money that he's using to go and build the third, that he used to go and build the third in mass. I believe one is some of us who want to go there. <laughs> a trip from here to there is, I think, the last time I checked was around $5 million. Okay, so however, this is how you pick signal. That's all. I just want to revive our mind. If you have not watched the video, go watch it out. And apart from that, don't forget, you don't need to stress it. If you don't want all these indicators, my brother, shut it down and take your 3%. Go and load the 25 margin, 25 RQTMI, 25 volatile coins on your trading view. Anytime you see 3%, minus 3%, trade and take 3%. Minus 3% and above. Anytime you see any of the coin like that, ensure you take your 3% in out. You don't need to be looking at all these all the indicators. Anytime you see on those 25 volatile coins, those 25 volatile coins, that somebody will say, why did RQT decide to uh, uh, classify these coins as volatile? It is because they are coins that were pumping in the bearish. That's why we decide to pick them and select them as our recommended volatile coins. The Excel sheet you are holding, anybody on this call that have the Excel sheet, it was built on the bull and bear season. Both season of 2021 and best season of 2022. That was what it was that was used. I used it to create, we used it to create the answer sheet. So if you have it, you don't have any problem in terms of settings. Just learn how to pick the signal, just like I just show you. If you don't want to pick signal and you still don't want to trade without analysis, which means go and take 3% on any minus three, on any coin that is showing minus three, just load your Royal, your your Binance, uh, King Jibiri, can you see? Uh, I mean, you can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Just load your Binance with thirteen thousand five hundred and one hundred and twenty-five. Thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty-five. Load your your Binance with thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty-five, and go and set your trade on Saku. Trade all the whole using Magic Two. Trade all the whole 25 volatile coins and you keep enjoying minimum 5% of your capital, every single minimum. I'm not saying this is what you get. Minimum you get is 0.05% of 0 0.05 of that your 13,000. You don't need to download to any view. You don't need to know anything as indicator to help with the indicator. You don't need to know it. Just all you just need to do is cash out 13,125. Trade the whole of the 25 coins. How do I get 13,125? If you're using magic 2, 525 times that 25 coins, it will give you 13,100. Just go and load it on the 25 RQTMI volatile coins, put it on circle, and you keep enjoying yourself. It covers for 60% deep for the bullish season. That's the best magic you can use for bullish season. That is the shit. Don't want to download trading view to help with trading view, to help with the indicators. You don't want to do that. Another way you can make money is you can also use 525 to trade all the whole 79 coins. That is for 1,475. Put it on circle. Hmm? Make minimum 5% of your capital. That's $2,773. Convert this money to Nera. That's, if you're in Nigeria, that's 2.4 million. Put circle straight, steady money coming in your account. In fact, you don't download trading with you. Don't download anything. Just put your money in your Binance. You trade all the 79 coins and you keep enjoying this money. 2.4 million. Tell me who, which Nigerian person is collecting this money without stress. Thank you very much. I think I've come to the end of this class. It's just a, an overview of what you already know for those that are following us. So I'm open for questions. If you have any questions, you can unmute yourself and ask. Or you put up your digital, or you put up your digital hand for Aminu or Jibril, or Aminu to Jibril to, to, to unmute you and allow you to talk. Should I go ahead? Yeah, you can, of course, sure. Oh, okay, okay. 
Great. Thank you so much. When when you were analyzing um, WR, is it WRX? Yeah, it is. I think uh -huh, that there was you picked a horizontal line. Do with the yes. horizontal. What? Yes, I did. I did. Lost you went briefly on my own phone. Oh, okay. So you 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 are also following in terms of the horizontal line. It just yes. I know we did the cost of um, the we, and, 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 and you said I said I had it on, we confirmed the three confirmations on this uh, RSI stochastic. But I recall yeah. it's a horizontal line. I don't know what you did with the horizontal line. The next thing was you went to the band. So what did you okay. do with the horizontal line you put? Let me go back again. I'll share my screen. Uh, my screen is still on. So what I was doing is the Bolinka band, you can use it. There are 10 ways of using the indicators. Yeah, the indicators are for newbies. Somebody that is very good, you don't need an indicator to trade. But it's good for newbies that are just coming to cryptocurrency to understand how to use the indicators. Now, as you can see this indicator now, I can use it as what support and resistance. And I, could, I've used, I used it as resistance in terms of knowing where to measure to. The red line that you're seeing, not this one, I'm not referring to this. The red line you're seeing, are you, it is the resistance of the auto Fibonacci. If it's a downtrend, you measure to the 38.2% line. Wow. If it's an uptrend, yeah. yeah. Now, it was a downtrend because the zero is at the bottom 100 at the top. That was why I used the red line, right? To demarcate mm. that 38.2 percent line, which is the resistance. Oh. When something is going up, just like in your room, when you throw a ball, the ceiling, the roof of your room prevents the ball from going up. That is the resistance, yeah. resisting the ball from going up. Okay. The same thing with what gravitational force. Once you jump, okay. gravitational force should push you down. It is resistance, okay. resisting you from. Yeah, I understand. Like, because of the fact that the aeroplane was there is an engine that was used to counter that. That's why it's flowing, flying in the on air. Now, the same way on this chart that you see now, I use the red line as resistance and the black line, which you are seeing, it is just as support. to what the resistance, not support. If it's going down, that's when it's support. If you throw okay. a ball and it hit the ceiling, that's resistance. When the ball is coming down, the floor will support it. Uh -huh. That's the support. Okay. When time it comes, it's going down. Yes. And okay. I think I talked about support and resistance on the on the Bollinger band, right? I can also use that here, you guys to see. Now, the Bollinger band is used. I, I think I shared three ways of using Bollinger band: the Bollinger band divergence, the Bollinger band break, and the Bollinger band support and resistance. Now, it's just for you to look for areas where the candles was hitting and was returning back. That's the, that's what you should be looking at for. Now, I can tap on my pen, go to Parallel channel. This parallel channel, you can find it on, you can find it on trend lines. It's parallel long press and start it. It's easy for you to use parallel lines to get your so your. I can put it here. You can see if I put it here now. It's just for you to look at, uh, look at it. You measure to this place. As you can see, somebody say why did I measure? Somebody say why did you measure like that? It hit this area and went up. Came down again, go up. Came down again. I am looking at those areas it hit and went up as support. Then see, those areas it hit and go up. You see, it came down here. It hit this area, go up again. Came down again. Although it even even though it did not touch the black line, but at least came down. Go up again. Came down again. That's how they can do. These are buyers and sellers activity in, on Binance. We are using Binance Exchange. Now you see, came back and hit this area and it's about to go up. This is support and resistance. However, I just used my line to do. I now tap on it, drag the middle. You could see the middle, this one here. Just drag it up. Now, when I drag it up, I am looking for those areas that it hits and return. You see? Now, these are the areas. It hits this place. Sorry. 
it hit this area and came down. It went up again, it hit this area and came down. It went up, although it didn't go up to the black line, this line, it now came down. So it's looking forward to go up again. If this was brothers and sisters on this call, if it this skills, if it was what was taught in our secondary school and university, by now we should be all of us should be a millionaire in dollars. You hardly can see this on the school. We are just trying to memorize theory to go and get certificates. <laughs> Imagine if you're doing this over and over again for the next. Somebody will say you are spending 35 years of your life on a job that when you die, your children will not inherit, continue with it. Imagine you spend 35 years on this chart and on Royal Q. Hmm. Not even 35 years. Give Royal Q five years and seven years. Because Jack Ma said that if you start a business, think five and ten years. After ten years of your life, you don't expect not to know this. You'll be bad in terms of signals. Because they are doing the same thing over and over and over and over again for the next 10, 5 years. That's not how you can be good. You'll be superb. You'll be excellent. The thing is that you take the pain because now that you're learning, you need to take the pain. It's not easy. The person talking to you like this, I was once like you. But today, I don't. I sit in my house and make the money. So this is how you use support and resistance. It's easy as, as A, B, C. Just use your parallel channel to draw the support and resistance. You just look for areas that it touch and, and go up. If it's coming down, it's support. If it's going up, it's resistance. I want to believe Queen BC have addressed your challenge. Queen BC, are you still on the call? Yes, I am. Yes. Have I answered your I, question? Yes, you have. You have. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So the next person, feel free to ask questions because as you round up the year, Arkiti my promises a lot of things coming up so, next year. Good evening, coach. This is Jedigwa Godwin. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. Kim yeah. Godwin, how far? What's up? Fine, well are done you, for the present. Yeah, are you Mina? No, 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 I did not travel. I just okay. said, yeah, uh, go on. So, uh, based on uh, what you just presented now, do, uh, I try to follow up basically. There's one or two things I need a uh, great area that I need to um, refresh in, but then you understand that uh, trading view you can only have two indicators at a time. So how do you manage to confirm with the last one if you want to confirm? Because now, as to like my case now, I have RISM and uh, Fibonacci. Now, if I want to confirm with uh, uh, Bollinger Band, how do I go about this? Okay, two things then you can I'll do. I'll like you, yeah, I'll still on, like yeah. you to just use one that coin again to do what you just did now so that you can get a clearer view. Thank you. Okay, so your first question is, how did I do that? It's just for you to use, look for what you're looking for on the Otoch Munachi, then remove it and bring in Bollinger Band and get what you're looking for on the Bollinger Band. However, that's, I don't want to pay. That's why, because me, I don't want to trade with indicators. I don't need indicators to trade. And just, if you need indicator to trade and you want it to appear, the three of them to appear at the same time, you need to subscribe. Mm -hmm. I think the lowest is 7,000 plus in Nera. However, wow. if you don't want to go through that route every month, 7,000 every month, I think 7,200, 7,500 Naira every month. That is, if you're in Nigeria, if you're outside Nigeria, you can also pay, I don't know whether it's in dollar or USDT, you can check it out. Go Google and check it out. But if you don't want to dodge that route, just go load your auto Fibonacci and stochastic RSI, check out what you're looking for on the auto Fibonacci, use your line to draw it, you remove it and bring in the Wolinga band. And you get what you're looking for in the bowling game, and, and that's all. Now, uh, you said that you pick another coin. Let me see. Yes, yes.
Now, this is what? This is um, oh. IUST. Yeah. As you can see, I will just look for, I want to use the Bollinger Band as support and resistance. Like I say, okay. Bollinger Band break. If you have entered this coin when the, we are seeing this candle, when you're seeing this candle outside, that's Bollinger Band break. You'd have enjoyed a ride like this to this place. Uh, possibly to this place. You see the percentage we are taking from that place? If you want to use the Bollinger Band break, see it, we have taken from here. Yeah, when you go cool right to this place, that's like... Locally made that green candle there, right? I mean, any candle that closes okay. all the parts of the candle, you could see very well. If you are okay, watching the right video, there. you see this one? Everybody can yeah. see that it's outside. Yeah. The more the body of the candle is outside, the more accurate the signal. You can see this one is completely outside. You need outside. Like so, this. You that's that, so does that mean that the the, the 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 trend will be upward or downward? It's a downtrend, so it's going to be up. You see the downtrend, okay. the coin is already going down, so it's fine it like that. So anytime you get so it like that. Is a reverser. Yes. Now that's I don't want to use Bollinger Band break here. Now, if you look at this coin, this coin can give you cool three percent if you want to trade without analysis. Because you are seeing it as what minus, minus eight. eight. Yeah. But I will not me I will recommend you use the 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 RQTMI volatile coins. I already have it on my list, hot list. 25 yes. of them, right? 25 of them, because some of most of them you hardly see them deep 30 percent or so. This gala yeah. can give you three percent, cool three percent, no stress. ARB 3%, ADAD 3%, CFX 3%, WRS 3%, MAX 3%, MDX 3%. Imagine if you have like $1,000 on each of these coins. Because tomorrow you don't be seeing sell, sell, sell. Before pending where all, all of them will sell. So that's it. Now, you said as you look at iOS, you see iOS, I want to use support and resistance. What we like to do, I'll just go and pick my parallel channel. Don't forget, you can also use the and the trend line, the horizontal line, but I don't want to stress myself on that. That's why I am looking for areas where it touches. Those areas that it touches and return back. Okay. Hmm? Just find one or two. Sorry. We are looking for one or two. Okay. Channel. I can start from here. I just need one or two. Now you can see it. Yeah. Now everybody can see that it touched this area and went up. Yeah. Came down again. Yes, it was going to touch here. Go up. You see it. it. Even though it breaks, no problem. Up again. Came down. Hmm? Up again and it's coming down. So you have how many touches? One, two, three, four, five. You just need Six. two, minimum two. I just need minimum two. Okay. So you see, I won't got more than two. That's it. That's it. I'll just tap on the middle. This one. Then go to which area did each hit and return back. You can see. Look at it. You have it here. You have it here. If you have it here, see it. Hmm? We have more than two. Yeah. I just need minimum two, three. Minimum two, three. Hmm? Minimum two. It should not be less than two. Right? Just to get. Yeah. But if you higher the higher the number, the more accurate it is. Accurate. Now, look at where it's going now. You can see everybody can see that I can measure my take profit hmm? but i will use my bollinger band the middle line as my resistance i can measure to this place and i join cool four percent you can see where i stop i stop at i use my horizontal line now i stop at this area where do you see this middle bollinger band line you see it that's where i stop that's my resistance then i now remove my bollinger band 
and bring in the auto Fibonacci and see what it's telling me. You can see this is an uptrend, right? This is an uptrend. As you can see, up zero at the top, 100 at the bottom. And if it's an uptrend, you measure to 23.6% line. This line here, that's yeah. another resistance, right? But some people don't have that patience to wait. That's why we just give them 30%. Somebody that picked this trade, I remain patient. You know that it's going to this place. When you tell somebody, come on and jump 25%, <laughs> me, I can't wait to, I want this going to quickly say, so imagine if you will remain patient. Remain patient and you're using magic five or magic two. I think I thought something like this on day trading. Maybe you just go out and you relax. You just be enjoying sub sell. So you see how you just take the percent and you're out. But you have to confirm on the longer time frame, day and week. Go on the one day. What are you looking for? You could see on the one day. What I'm looking for on the one day is the old stochastic to touch the blue line. And I need it to be between 50 and and zero as you can see i don't i'm not i'm not getting it on this one day i go on the one week what am i seeing you can see i've seen i'm still not getting it on the one week right i go on the one month what am i looking at i'm still not getting it on the one one month so in order to be safe right i'm not seeing if you trade the signal on the four hour why not if you go and trade it on the one hour you can see what we're looking for on the one hour is not really giving us because of the fact that it's, it has gone past what we are looking for. The reason why we want a signal like top notch, so that if you do not hit it on the four hour, on the one day you are still safe. But when you enter signal like this on the four hour and your target was not hit, you did not hit on the four hour. When you come to one day, you find out that you stay on the longer, you stay longer on that trade, depending on you now sell off. That's why we chose to say that if, if I was the one, if you know what you're doing, you can decide to what trade it. But if you don't know, you just can just stay away and go and look. It's not only IOST that's on the coin. Plenty of coins are there. Go and look for the one that have what you're looking for. You must not trade IOS. But if I was the one, the question now is, do you know what you're doing? If you know what you're doing, and you know that you can remain patient. Because if you don't hit the target on the four hour, on the one day, it will take some time. Because this can do that you're seeing on the one day can reverse and start coming down. So that's why sometimes you find out that some people come will not buy all the margin costs. He has to remain patient and wait, even though he's making money downtrend. He has to wait before the coin can completely sell off. That is what we are avoiding. That's why we decide to say that no, 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 don't do that. Wait until you confirm everything, like I just told you on the longer time frame. The stochastic has to be touching the, the orange line and the green line, and you have to have an RSI between 50 and zero. If you have that, that's when you can go and trade it on the four hour. But as for me, I would just advise stay away. It's not by force that you must trade. Trade it on the four hour. But if you know what you're doing, you know that you can remain patient. If you don't hit your target, because anything can happen on this coin, you can decide to what trade it. So thank you very much. I think I've answered your question, King. Yeah, thank you, sir. But you made a statement. You say, unlike you, you don't use indicators. So what do you use in your trading to take signal? I only look at candles. Okay, look at candles. Yes. How do we learn that? <laughs> You know, you must study some first, man. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe. No worries, sir. Like I say, you're in my team. Once you get to V2, we'll move you to a group where you just for V2 members. No worries. You're welcome. So, that's it. Thank you very much. So, next person. Hello, I'm sir. Agne. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Sir. My my question, sir, is um when when you are you are drawing that line, that's the support and resistance line. I notice um this other uh this thing is not there. The stochastic RSI, uh sorry, and uh, the auto Fibonacci retracement is not there. So can we still uh use um the support and resistance method? on the uh, uh, stochastic, uh, the auto Fibonacci, or is it necessary until we use that Bollinger Band? You see, auto Fibonacci is not there. See my chart. If it's an uptrend, you have to pick the coin when it is between below 50 and 61. Is the coin not below 50 and 61? Yeah, it's there. So, you said I did not no, use I mean, it. When, when, you, when you use that diagonal line, 
and you you expand it, it's like the uh, uh, stochastic is not uh, the, the auto Fibonacci is not there. When you switch to that Bollinger band, and you are trying to to get where it touches what and I rises for, where what, it touches. What I search for on the auto Fibonacci yeah. because the current candle of the price is below fifty and six to one. And if you are in the auto Fibonacci, okay. if it's an uptrend, you wait for the candle price to touch fifty and six to one, and you can see it's even below. Yes. Now the take profit is twenty three point six. But okay. I'm not going to. I will not advise somebody to trade. You can trade this coin, though, but if you know what you're doing, because some people when their coin is not selling, you find out that they come to the group and say, "My coin is not selling. My coin is not selling. What's going on?" Because they don't understand what is going on. Okay. Remain you know, patient. Now, let me ask you. I think I should bring this. I should bring the house your uh, attention to. Let me bring this to your, you guys' attention. When you started okay. school in North, when you started nursery school, you were paying school fees, and the school fees was going high. Nursery one, the school fees you pay in nursery one, nursery two is higher than nursery one. The school you pay, the school fees you pay in nursery three is higher than nursery two. The school fee you pay in primary one is higher than. Nursery three. The school fees you pay primary up to SS3, senior secondary school, up to university, the school fees keep going up. And you are buying knowledge at a higher price. You are buying knowledge, paying for knowledge at a higher price. How many margin calls was there? 20 years. You spent 20 years schooling. That means 20 margin calls. And you are buying at a higher price. And you didn't complain. And as we were buying at higher price, there was no soft sell. You are not making money. When you started nursery school, were you making money? But you are paying money. You are opening margin calls. You are using money to open margin calls, meaning that you are buying knowledge. You are buying knowledge. You are just buying knowledge. But there was no soft sell. We are not making money. And you did not complain. You are just buying because you know that you are you have that belief that if you finish from school after your degrees, after NY, you will now get a job. That's when you start enjoying soft sell. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, even that subset did not happen. Some people have to pay for jobs. Some people have to beg for jobs. Now you came to the same scenario in Royal Q that was used to create Royal Q. That same thing that happened to you when we were growing is what was used to create Royal Q. But in this case, you are buying at a lower price and you are complaining. So as the margin cost is bought, it is buying at a lower price. In this case, not the opposite of what happened to you in your, in your secondary school when you are in our schooling. You are buying at a lower price when it's going down. And when it's even going up, there is a soft sell, which is even better than what happened in our secondary school. So what am I, why am I bringing this? Some people don't understand soft sell. They don't understand. The, that's why we decided to be giving them 2.5, 3%. I had to even go beyond 5%. Because they cannot wait. They want it to be selling quickly. And that's why we're doing that. So if you've seen this trade, it is an uptrend. We need it to retrace back by 50%. As you can see, it has and even go beyond 61.8, which is a good one. All you just need to do is to enjoy and remain patient. But I will say that if you know what you're doing, you trade. If you don't know what you're doing, don't trade it. Go and look at another coin. It's not by force that you must, you must trade IUST. Thank you. So next person, King Abbas, did that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, next person. In the absence, I can see no more question. Let me go to the chat. In the absence of no question, we'll have a session tomorrow that talks about how to treat without analysis like a pro, episode two. Watch out for it tomorrow by the grace of God. I bet, okay, somebody is saying, please, can you measure? Okay. Uh, I also... I already checked the signal that we dropped on the group, not other signal, please. Somebody said, what did you do? Uh, sorry, uh, B, what did you what did you do with the horizontal line? Okay, I think I've answered that. Please, I want to ask a picture in regard to the comeback of Q. My strategy is still showing who we are small. I've tried changing to sub more real-time setting, but it's stating that the number of replenishment is more than yes. And on uh, and I'm I am on one shot. Please, what do I do? Uh, I have sushi and YFI. Sushi will deliver. If you're on sushi, you should be seeing subsell now. If you're in YFI, you should also be seeing subsell now, as I'm talking to you now, except if you're not using any of the magic. 
But I don't understand why you say four times. You want to replenish the coin. Yeah, sometimes I think I found something like this. Sometimes you go, it happened to me. Uh, number of replenishment is more than I can't. I think how did I even sort it out? Uh, I, I can't remember, but I saw I think that was the time I experienced something like this. I was saying number oh. of replenishment is four times. Uh, Hello, I, I don't think I have a yes. I think it will work automatically. It's based on that update, sir. My own did yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. I think so too. Eventually, yeah. eventually, I think I was doing. I wanted to do replenishment with one on one coin, and it shows something like this. And eventually, it picked it. So, however, can Queen Mary, if the, if you try it and it not work, come back tomorrow to our Zoom session and complain, please. Let's find a solution to it. Thank you. So yes, I also have big Fake is not a coin that I dropped on the group. I don't think we are responsible for that signal. What about the combi yes, combining of trading? Please, can, yes, you, can, you, can you measure Acro for us? Acro, we always measure it every Sunday, except if the situation where our, our king, King James Amokara, is coming to do presentation. That's why we don't do that. I usually analyze Bitcoin and, and, and Acro every Sunday before after the technical analysis. Well, anytime that King James Amokara is having presentation, that's when That's when I that's when I sorry, that's when I, I would just halt the process and suspend it. Please can you measure acro for us? We need yeah. hoping of course if you're on acro, my brother, if you have more money, inject on it, that coin is going to go gaga. <laughs> Uh, seriously, still need to understand. If you want to know more about Acro, you can come on Sunday and come and see what I will do about Acro. Seriously, still need to understand this. I'm just lost. Don't worry. With patience, time, and persistence and consistency in attending our Zoom and watching our videos to come and ask questions on the session, you will get it. We need patience oh, in any trade. Never learn to be patient. Oh, patience is the key. I beg who they cut. Okay, sorry. I'm using the magic one called. Okay, thank you. The big was dropped on Sunday on the group. I don't think it, I don't think it's big. I didn't drop big. I didn't um, know sir? Yes, what's the question? Um, uh, sir, no, it's not a question, sir. Um, I observed like there is a little bug on the Royal Q app, so it's recommended people should update their app. If they, okay, so they very important. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much What's for that update. Experience? Okay, sir. Yeah. No, go on, go on, please, go on. Yeah, because I experienced some malfunction while executing trades. It was uh, giving me figures that I didn't buy and uh, showing me a uh, floating profit of what I, I don't have. So, but after updating the app, everything started functioning normal. So I think uh, there's a bug on the previous version, yes. Okay, so thank you very much. To the guy that is speaking now, you need to update your Royal Q app. Please, if you are still not using the old new version, please try as much as possible to update your app and try and do what you are asked to do in terms of what you want to do concerning manual replenishment. It should work, definitely. Uh, Queen, Queen Mary, yes, Sushi and YFI was dropped on the group and definitely they will deliver with, they are even giving you money now. So I'm talking to you now, you are seeing subset. All our signal gives you money downtrend and uptrend. Nobody on, if you're on this call and you're not enjoying uptrend and downtrend, you're not using that settings. So if you think you are not enjoying this uptrend and downtrend, you can unmute and tell us. We know we have there. If you can unmute and tell us that you're not making money downtrend, so that we share your spin and prove it to us that you're not making money downtrend. So that's how it is. If you follow this style and trade, just the same way I just show you guys, with patience and persistency, you start seeing subset downtrend and uptrend before eventually finally selling off. So thank you very much. I wanted this session to end 10 p.m., exactly 10 p.m. And it's already one minute to 10 p.m. Nigerian time. Thank you very much. We would hope to see you tomorrow. Hope to see you tomorrow when we we'll talk about how to trade. With. Don't forget, I'm still repeating this. Once you start, age, you bring somebody into this business, don't buzz him with all this indicator stuff. Teach him how to trade without analysis. Let him master how to trade, take 3% or without analysis. Once he has mastered that, maybe after one month, 60 days, two months or one month, you can now start showing after one month, at least 40 days or one month, you can now start showing once in a year. You can also make 5% too, or where you can also make 3.5. Yeah? You can start showing him that. 
But once you start showing somebody this kind of indicator, he will feel that, ah, almost this thing is too complicated. I can't even do it. Before you know, you'll be discouraged. And that's not how you should be. Eh? If the person says no, he has the money to help with indicate, in, in, indicator, to help with the uh, trading view. Yes. Tell him to put that thing as $125. Put it on circle, 25, all those $25 icons. And he keep enjoying himself. Imagine you're in Nigeria and you're making one million naira every month. That's cruising. <clears throat> cruising. Chilling. Eating your chicken and and, and and taking your yogurt, your soft drink, to help with whatever happened with the economy. You're any in that naira. But we don't pray that the economy become more, more, more harsh. We hope that as time goes on, things get better. But if you're earning in dollar, you don't care what is going to, you don't care because you have the money. Which is why we are trying to see that everybody, in fact, we have 200 million Nigerians. 200 million Nigerians. Everybody on this call should be in visits from now to 2025 ending. You should be in visits because if you're in Nigeria, you have the numbers. Then what they made his money in Nigeria. He didn't go outside Nigeria to make the money. He's the richest man in Africa. Where did he make his money? In Nigeria. The richest black, I think the second richest black woman in the world. Where did she make the money? In Nigeria. So how can we want to run away from Nigeria and say we don't want to make, we have the numbers. Go and sell this product. This is a digital product you can sell with peace of mind because nobody is going to lose money and the capital and profit in the person's cost. Yeah, so thank you very much. Without buzzing you too much talk. See you tomorrow. King Sunday, please. Sorry about you. I did not allow you to talk. You can come tomorrow and let's finish it. Let's ask your question. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Royal Q. I thought somebody would say power, power to, the to the people. Power to the people. Royal Q. Power to the people. Royal Q. Power to the people. 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 Power to the people.